Hi, I hope you had a nice festive weekend with your family. This week was definitely action packed with the elections in the US and also closer home in Bihar. Over the week, the whole world seemed to be glued to the TVs to hear the latest updates on the US elections, while in India there was wall to wall 24 7 coverage on the Bihar elections. Well, the healthcare industry didn't stop still, too. Here are the latest healthcare updates for the week. Let's begin with addressing the elephant in the room, a vaccine for COVID-19. The much-awaited Russian vaccine Sputnik V has finally arrived in India. After Dr. Reddy's laboratories got the approval to conduct human trials for the vaccine. The Russian authorities have revealed that the Sputnik V vaccine candidate has demonstrated 92% efficacy. On the other hand, two days before the Sputnik announcement, American drug maker Pfizer along with German drug maker BioNTech announced the early analysis of their COVID vaccine trial, which has revealed 90% effectiveness. Maybe there is hope for us now. Now, more than half the adults across the world seem to have some form of chronic disease or condition. For example, in the UK, more than 75% of the total health budget is spent on treating chronic diseases. A Netherlands-based digital health company, Nori Health, has launched an iPhone app that allows patients to chat with Coach Nori on improving lifestyle behavior and symptoms such as pain, fatigue, and inflammation. This digital coach suggests personalized and tailored habit changes based on lifestyle pattern. Speaking of habit changes, though we are all aware of the amazing benefits of morning exercise, our laziness often holds us back. Well, this study might help you get off your back and engage in a daily exercise routine. A new study has revealed that people who exercise in the morning between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. may be less likely to develop cancers. And according to a WHO report, cancer is the second leading cause of death globally, with an estimated rate of 9.6 million deaths in 2018 alone. But it's important to remember that along with physical exercise, we need to take care of mental health too. In fact, according to the National Institute of Mental Health, about 17.3 million adults in the United States have experienced at least one depressive episode. But this magic mushroom therapy might just rescue them. In a small clinical trial, mental health patients who were given two doses of cyclocybin mushroom along with psychotherapy demonstrated a reduction in depressive symptoms. Now, taking a segue away from therapy and other healthcare innovations, Many regions across the world are gearing up to legalize marijuana for various healthcare and economic benefits. But we all know in India, it still continues to be locked in controversies. Migraine now is one of the main causes for chronic health problems, affecting one in seven people and most of them women. Today, the worldwide prevalence of migraine is estimated to 10%. People with chronic migraines often suppress the pain with medications and injections. Now there's a possible solution for this. A Netherlands-based medtech startup, Slavia Bioelectronics, has developed a pacemaker to ease the nerves in a patient's forehead. This startup uses a form of pain relief method named neurostimulation that gives small electric pulses to the nervous system. We all know that racism and discrimination create a healthcare disparity for African Americans and other minorities, which often goes unaddressed due to the lack of awareness. So, a Stanford graduate and mentor of Backstage Capital has launched a new healthcare startup, Spora Health, for patients in Virginia, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, and Florida. Spora Health works to give black people and other people of color better accessibility to its doctors, nurse practitioners, nutritionists, and more. What's more, Spora Health utilizes machine learning to predict chronic conditions such as prediabetes, hypertension, and even emsemia-based patient profile. We also have a few updates on the medical education scene in India. The Medical Counseling Committee has announced the removal of select medical colleges from the seat matrix for NEET Counseling 2020 for MBBS and BDS admissions. So far, two medical colleges have been removed. One is from Maharashtra, and the other one from Jharkhand. Additionally, NEET PG 2021 exam has been postponed until further notice. So all the students who are preparing for these exams, 
Stand by and look forward to the new day. As for COVID-19 in India, reports from an international study revealed that more than 5.8 lakh planned surgeries in India might have been cancelled or delayed due to the pandemic. Currently, hospitals are facing challenges in managing inventory, bed allocation, and of course, resources due to the increasing number of COVID patients. Meanwhile, a Delhi-based startup named MedML has now intervened to solve this problem with AI-powered product for hospitals and insurance providers. This product allows healthcare administrators to solve various operational challenges such as bed occupancy, medical costs, revenue, member readmission, and of course, consumable utilization with the help of a smart dashboard through upfront predictions and real-time actionable triggers. Well, that's a wrap for this week. As always, next Monday, we'll be back with more healthcare updates. Till then, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to Global Healthcare Archives.